when I tell you like religion in general and, and faith, sometimes I, I the reason, because I'm not, like I said, I'm not overly religious. I do believe in a creator. Mm. I don't know what his role is in our day-to-day lives. I, 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 I think there's some sort of unimaginable thing that made us and this universe and everything around us. But like I said, I don't know if he's as active as uh, Faith would tell you because I'm I'm confused. I I don't truly understand. There's too many stories being told. There's too many people saying different things. Mm. Uh, religion, faith, whatever you want to call it, has has led to the deaths of too many people, has led to the, the trauma of too many children. Mm. And I, I, I've just been not shut off to the idea, but turned off momentarily. Yeah. And that's why I was excited to have, I'm excited, yeah. I'm excited to have you on the podcast. Yeah. Cause, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure I can fully wrap my head around so many people telling me different things about their God. Yes. You know, uh, in Islam, Allah is, is the God and mm. Judaism, Jesus is the God. And, uh, and yeah, Judaism. No. Well, is, Ju- is Juda- Judaism Jewish? Right. They're the no, I don't think they're you the have no to be an Jesus. Expert you could probably ask the theologian. Yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah. no, but, but you're right in your train of thought yes. either way. So everyone has their own interpretation of God. So it gets really, really um, horribly confusing. Mm. So our job is to try to make it as plain as we can. And number one, if you ever talk to a Christian that's super defensive, um, you could probably stop listening right away mm-hmm. because that's not a trait of our faith. Like Jesus said, they will, they will know you by your love. Out of all the things Jesus said, I want people to recognize you for, that's what he said. They're not going to know you by your fancy speech or your clean life or your theological depth. Jesus said, if you're really with me, people will know it because of the way you love people. I love that message. That's wild to me. That's such a good message. How I came to the faith that I have is that people let me doubt and they let me question and they let me push back. And they just kept pointing me on this investigation road, which I'm going to say to all y'all, you you make these calls for yourself. It's not as confusing as you think. Mm -hmm. It's like if someone were to say, I can't do YouTube. It's too complicated. What would you say to that? Yes, but... Mm, I'm yeah. sitting on an empire, right? Yeah. Mm. It was done. <laughs> if, if it's worth it, you'll you'll look. And mm-hmm. I know I can. I, I just just met you, but I know the two of you have deep souls and you care about stuff. So Absolutely. you you should pursue it because it, it's um, the biggest question in life. I I like the idea of being a good person and and following everything that you said. I just I don't know if I can put a label on it. Uh, that that would define me in a certain way. Does that make sense? Maverick. Mm, That's nice. how you should define yourself. <laughs> um, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're, you're Gnostic, right? G N O S T I C. You me? believe in a God. Yeah. Something above that is providing you with some sort of inspiration and guidance. No. And no guidance? No. Yeah, but but even is that is that agnostic or is that atheist? No. Gnostic, not agnostic. That well, means what what is of. his what is his situation called? He believes in a maker, but I, th- not I think it's a, agnostic. He's agnostic. Yeah, it's agnostic. Yeah. Yeah. He can't it's, prove it's that can't, it's, you can't, you can't prove that it is something. or isn't right, or or what it is exactly. Either, what do you? What, this is a bigger question. I was I was because I was raised Christian. By the way, I, I I I'm forgetting to mention like I I did PSR, I did church. Prove and, it. Show me a certificate. For my <laughs> I can show you. I was, I was baptized. I his brother is his brother's religious. Goes not, to church not anymore. Oh, not is anymore. he not either? He he tried it because he was lost, as most religious people do. They they try it because they're lost, and it gives them a sense of direction and hope, which mm-hmm. I think religion is good for. But you know, it's he he. We grew up religious. We both kind of got turned off to it. And I've I've always been sort of uh, I don't know, just rubbed the wrong way. Like when I was in PSR as a kid. Mm. Seven years old. I was eight years old. I was like, Mom, this feels weird. Like the things that, like they're telling me and preaching to me. It's I, I'm not so I'm not here for the 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 shoving of faith down the throats of yeah of of people who just don't know don't don't know better. Yeah, I think it's well said. Like if you take it back to what you said earlier, you said, you know, I, I'm I'm okay with being a good person. Well, that's not even really the foundation of our belief because whose definition of good. Mm-hmm. You know, we live in a world that has some low good standards. Like if you don't go to jail five times, you're a good dad. It's like, yeah. no, you're not a good dad. <laughs> you're not supposed to do that, right? No, I don't think so. So good is good is um, is a meter we can change. I don't think so. You don't think so? Well, where do you get good from? I think I think uh, the universally accepted definition of good is like you know right and wrong. 
you know when something's right and morality wrong. general morality well yeah. morality like you said changes drastically from person to person and massively faith faith. from 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 city to city from country still, to country. yeah we would still is agree there, though we would still agree on like what, in what certain, most like is in good. certain countries the morale the morale thing is that women should cover up not vote and not be allowed to participate in it you know that's the morale that's, that's morale but, but we know but country. we know that's wrong we know in no, this yeah. country no we know that several hundred million people in another why? country why think why it's right why because of their standards and because, their morals. What, why? what do you mean why are the, religion. Why there's religion because yeah. well, the answer is religion, religion yeah, so, absolutely well, absolutely yeah, but my, it's but it, but it comes back to that question of like what is the right answer to it I don't, we think we have one answer whether whether it's because of religion or ethics or moral right. fiber or what we're born we're, with or our yeah. parents teach us we all think we know what's right but then there's a whole nother group of people who think something else and so to his point because of what though what's the what's some, the catalyst some, some, sometimes uh how society raised you in japan or china yeah. you're raised whatever to be a certain way regardless of religion you're raised by your parents to go to school 86 hours a fucking week you know what i'm saying but i believe I, there's here a, I here believe, we believe in different standards i believe inherently humans know what is right or maybe not know what is right i believe there is a right i believe there is a wrong i believe there is a bad i believe there is a good and it's not too hard to tell the difference tough for you to say though because you were raised in a christian household okay so there would be some of that that would have trickled down into your heart okay so your framework would be but i agree with you to your your baseline point and here's the catch we're the only faith system that says it's not about being good because we cannot be good enough so Jesus kind of did away with all that because that's what religion was. Religion was working your way up to God. Every other faith, pray this long, pray this hard, do this many good deeds, and then Jesus flipped it and said, I did all that for you. Now all you have to do is come to me. That's mm -hmm. what blew people's minds. That, that's why they were like, kill this dude <laughs> right away. Kill him mm -hmm. because if he's right, everything we stand for is wrong. So do I want to be a good person? Absolutely. Um, but I know that I'm going to fail because I am a sinner and I'm human. That's why I need Jesus, not to get to be a better person. Like, that's not ultimately what Jesus came to do, to make people better but people. But he came to transform your whole soul. But you're a sinner on whose accord? Uh, well, according to my faith and also according to what we just talked about. Even if I wasn't a Christian, you know something's wrong. Look, yeah, but like having sex before a marriage isn't, in my opinion, wrong. But according to religion, it is. Not religion. Sorry, Christianity? Well, you, this is where at our church, we do it different. Okay. So I would take you to what I believe the Bible says about this. And I'd say, you tell me. You, you, you get to know Jesus. Here's what it says about sex. God created it. It's amazing. It's phenomenal. If you went to a church that told you sex was bad, there was a, that whole generation that was like, sex ain't bad. <laughs> so you're crazy. Right. Um, we, we put it in its context, and then God puts the parameters to make it the best you, know, you could ever have it, which includes sex. That's why God put it in the boundaries of marriage, not to take away from your life, but to have the maximum value for what it is you know, all about. Mm. But you, Logan, have to make your call. It can't be because your church said that's when people start to push back. Like they, they run from stuff and it was never a relationship with Jesus. They push back from religion. So that's kind of where I would take you. Any question you'd ask me before I gave you my take on it, I'd say, well, let's go see what God said. Because it's not about what I think is right. If it was about me, golly, I'd be the worst, <laughs> the, the worst God ever. <laughs> but, but, you, but, you, but let's see what God says. You're talking about your God. Yes. If I was talking to a Muslim, the answer would be different. So you got to figure out. <laughs> it, it, yeah. But it's worth looking. You got to go, okay. Yeah, you got to investigate. Like, I studied, I studied that. Yo, I, went, I went to study I, some of those. But I, this is where I get confused. Like, like who's right and who's wrong? Are, are, are Muslims wrong because they're Muslim? Are Christians wrong because they're Christian? And what are the consequences of being right and wrong? Or are we all just people on an earth that was created by some guy, and now we're here, and it's up to us to discern our, what our future looks like? I, I personally, if I if I could, I would be a universalist, which are the people who believe good stuff. They talk to the universe. That's what I do. <laughs> I know. How, I, I know. And, and uh, whenever someone says that, like, man, the universe is giving me good stuff back, I'm always like, the universe doesn't know you. It's <laughs> definitely not the universe. That cliff over there is not sending you good vibes back, okay? I know it sounds good. Sort of. But you, 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 the universe does know you because you are the universe. Okay. You're part According of the, to facts and atoms in your body and okay. the way the I'm universal okay with that. matter, I mean, the makeup I, of I, this planet. I, 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 I'm okay with that. Because I, I, I just... When I talk to the universe, I'm not like, hey, yo, I wish for the best life ever. I want to be the biggest YouTuber right. on the planet. I'm speaking my thoughts and my uh, desires into existence. And I mean, I know you've uh, probably heard 
and dabble didn't have extreme experience with the word manifestation, but I, I, word. I, 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 I mean, I am, am a big believer in manifestation. Some people it's, call it's, that prayer. It's it, exactly, exactly. It's the ex, almost so, exact so, same so, thing. So it is. So why tie an entire, uh, uh, faith behind it that has so much baggage and has led to so many disagreements and confusion and death. But he's also, so, he's also so, looking so at the neg- the, well, so also the looking at the negative so side. Has the internet's done all that too. And yeah. we don't write it off. So the fact of like, first of all, we don't love conflict and we don't love tension. Of course. So if you talk to a millennial, if you talk to somebody who's getting four degrees in theology, you know, like we push back on anything that becomes absolute even though that's what our souls crave. So if you tell somebody there's one way, then people are like, that can't be right. Like you don't hate other religions. Correct. And, yeah. and, and so it, it's we don't want the tension of really, and, and you've expressed that in a good way. I mean, you're saying you're really searching, you're looking, and you end up landing on something that's not so, in your mind, narrow. Mm. And, and I always say our faith seems narrow, but like Jesus said, it's a, it's a narrow road, but it is a wide, expansive life. 